Hey up YouTube, if you've just come across from the last video, hello, welcome. Don't forget, if you haven't pressed that subscribe button, do press it. Um, it does help me out and I would like to reach a thousand subs as soon as I can. Um, so, we're back down on Staley Wall, Immingham Wall. The wall. Um, yeah, basically, if you've not watched the North Kilnsey video, Please do go watch it after this. Um, I, I, I was determined to get here that night and uh, yeah, because of the, the road closures and things like that, it just took too long. We just couldn't get here. Um, so I've come back out tonight to do a what was probably going to be quite a short session because I've ended up in Bay 21, uh, which is not ideal. I didn't get here as early as I, as I had planned to. Just life, you know. Um, all the other bays up to, I mean, I went down as far as 16. Didn't really want to go that much further because it's a long time before you can fish down there. So I came back to 21. It's now filling up. It'll be fishable in about 10, 20 minutes. So enough time for me to have a brew. Um, little bit miffed, I've got to be honest. Oh, he's got a flatty down there. Yeah, he's got a fish in. Um, because if you watched my video before last, we, we had three of us in Bay 19. 18, 19, the big bay. If you know the area, you'll know which bay it is. Um, and then this time I've come and there's one fella and he's parked and set himself up in such a way that you couldn't share the bay with him. I, I would normally have pulled over and said, can I share a bay with you? Um, but clearly the way he's parked and the way he's set up, I think I know what the answer would have been before I asked. Um, unfortunate, like I say, I'm not, I'm not where I wanted to be, but that's the curse of the wall at the peak of cod season. Um, you know, you can fish anywhere along the wall, just park out of the way. Anyway, let's, let's not get into that at the moment. Um, so I've come back, I'm on carton squid wraps. I do have some black and some extra squid as well, so some of that might go out as well. We'll see how it goes. Um, I had planned to do one rig cart and squid and one rig um, black and squid, but I haven't got them ready because like I said, I was just short on time. Uh, I've been flying about all morning and in early afternoon. So um, it was just, it was just nonstop. So yeah, the water actually looks like it's going to be fishable in about 10 minutes, a lot sooner than I thought. So I'm going to stop waffling on in this intro um in case you've not watched the kilnsey video just quick I, I got asked several times what tip lights it is i'm using it's just those i think georgia anglers and danglers sells them i couldn't get to him today uh because I, I was going to go he had he advertised he had a little bit of ragworm left and i was going to go get it for tonight but i couldn't get to him um and all i do is i whip it on the rod tip with i mean I don't suppose I've directly shown you, but these plastic things down here, all you do is put it on your rod, whip it on with some electrical tape. You can use, I mean, you could use bait elastic if you wanted. I know people do. You can super glue them on if you want something a bit more permanent. Um, the one thing I did actually when I first did it on my first two rods was I put a, a single wrap of, of electrical tape on the rod and then I super glued it on and then I, 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 I put a couple of wraps and it just kept the amount of electrical tape, made it a lot more slimline and it meant that I wasn't super gluing something permanently to my rod. Um, and that really worked, so I may go back to doing that because I'm going to stick to these Mark IV tip lights. A lot of people ask me, um, have I tried these breakaway, um, these ones, these breakaway tip lights? Yes, yes I have. Um, to be honest, I found them not to be good. Um, the holders are good, the slim line, they're really nice. But these are five pound, all right? Same as the other ones, pretty much. And yes, you, you know, these are great. It's, it's advertised that you can get replacement batteries, and I can't get, oh, I can. And this is the battery for it. Tiny little thing. Um, but that, that tiny little battery, to buy one of them, is five pounds. So, not that great. If there's any... I'm going to throw this out there because I've not thrown it out there and I'm tempted to patent it before somebody else does it because there's a couple of companies that have got 
very close to the design I've got on my head. But if there's any guys out there that can build a rod from a blank, contact me because I've got, a, in my head, coming from a computer science background, I've got a rod design in my head and I've spoken to George about it and he can see the logic uh, and he says it makes sense. Um, this was meant to be a short intro, wasn't it? Um, but if there is any rod builders out there that can build a rod, I'll commission it. Um, it's, it's just going to be difficult. Uh, and I can't say any more without giving away what I need to do, what, what my idea is. And like I said, some of the rod building companies, some of the big companies like Penn, are very, very close to what I want to do or to the idea that I have. And I'd like to speak with a rod builder, not necessarily to get you to build it because it may be very difficult. Yeah, beads and, and rubbish. Yeah, we'll do some rubbish picking in a bit. The bears are state. Um, and then there's some fly tipping just there. And but I can't I can't take the fly tipping, but we will we will clean up the bay. Um, if I've got I don't know if I've got a rubbish bag. At one time I haven't brought a carrier bag. But yes, if you're a rod builder, if you know your way around more specifically a rod tip please do contact me, either Facebook, go to my About page on the YouTube channel uh, and click on email, it'll give you my email address, or you can find me on Facebook, or contact me in the comments below this video. I know there's going to be loads of people saying, oh, such and such is a rod builder, such and such is a rod builder. I appreciate, the, I appreciate you telling me about who the rod builders are, but I would rather have one that's willing to discuss a bit of a project, contact me. If, if, if there is such a thing out there. So please do, if you know a rod builder, point them in the direction of this and ask them just to watch the intro, um, or ask them to contact me, please. Um, because if I can build a prototype, um, I can patent it. If it hasn't already been patented, I've not looked into that, but anyway. We're getting close to fishing, so, I'm going to do the intro, we're going to do the setup time lapse, as you can see I'm already set up, um, and then we'll talk more, although I've, I've talked about loads of stuff, but then we'll talk more once I'm out on fishing, because I've got about enough time to make a brew and enough light to make a brew, because I think uh, Rose is going to steal all my tea tonight, so I think I'm going to have to make myself a coffee. And I need to tidy my box up, because we did a quick and dirty pack up and everything's a mess. So I need to get all that sorted tonight. Uh, I'm not too sure what the video is going to be like. I apologise in advance. I've not got my big lights. So we've just got my tip light, my camera light and my head torch when I put it on. Um, so I apologise in advance. Lighting is going to be an issue tonight. I don't even know if I've got the right cable to charge that little bike light because that's dead as a doornail as well. Okay. Um... So anyway, yes, like, share, subscribe. If you've, if you've sat through all my rant, please do press that subscribe button. Hopefully we'll get some fish tonight. It's the continuation of my cod hunt for 2021. Although technically I have had a cod in 2021, but it was last cod season. Oh, that's, that's fully charged. Well, it's not fully charged, it's bright. Um, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
to connect up the battery. It's dying. Cable, I need to take that cable out of the car. I keep forgetting. Out of my bag. So yeah, I'm going to um, chuck out. And it's a little bit... It's a little bit far out, but... It is what it is. To be honest, I should have probably gone left instead of going right today when I saw how busy it was up here, but hey ho, it is what it is. Give me a second, let me just pop this uh, this cable in. There we go. Right, let's get these rods out. Well, we may find that the guys further down to the side of me, what you tend to find is a lot of them go home just after high tide. Which is the wrong thing to do, in my opinion. Uh, but if, if I need to, I can always hop over the wall if I do end up with a fish. That's uh, not in that much water there, but I'm out, it's a start. Is there any rocks I can, is there any rock, is there a big rock knocking about? No, I'll have to get my box out. So I'm fishing the Tidal XR on the power tip, and then as usual, Usual suspects, Fury FX420. Obviously not on a power tip, because they don't do one. With smaller hooks and smaller bait. And we're out fishing. We're out fishing. <laughs> All right. It's getting dark quick. I think I said that in the last video. Never fails to astound me how quick, once the sun starts to set, how quick it goes down. I'm going to quickly pop these rod tip lights on. But fingers crossed. So we're hoping for a cod, even if it's a diddy one. Although I would, I would like to get a keeper. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to head up with tradition, or start a tradition of cod on New on Christmas Eve, which is the traditional food for Christmas Eve. Um, but I would like it to be one that I've caught, not one that I've bought, so we shall have to just cross his fingers and up for the best. That's a bit dull, isn't it? That one. There we go. Hopefully, it'll say they'll be bright enough for you guys to see. I don't expect a great deal to happen. They're not in very much water. But who knows, if you're not out, you're not fishing. If you're not fishing, you're not gonna catch, are you? Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pull my box out. Give me a sec. Yeah. Lock that there. Just to stop the uh, rod stand flying out from under it. And yeah, I guess, guys. So you're going to have to sit like this. No, I won't be sitting on it, Rosa, because you make the rod tips bounce. Oh. It's not for sitting on, it's to stop the tripod collapsing. Not today. Not to sit on today. No. So I'll move you around to the side so that you get a better view of the rod tips. And you'll not see my nose first. And uh, yeah, I'll set a time lapse going, at least until the sun has gone down. Um, yeah, we've had a, a little bit of a clean up in the bay, but 
I've not brought any carrier bags. So it's all just loose in the back of my car at the moment. There we go. I'll see you in a bit.
Although before I forget, if you've enjoyed my time lapse and my rants and my bit of personal life, I always forget to do these bits, so I'm sorry, I know it's a bit irregular for the regular viewers, I don't always do this. Um, but do please press that subscribe button, it does help me out immensely. Press the like button, comment down below, it's a learning channel, I vlog my fishing journey, it's not just here's a fish, here's a fish, you see my fails, you see my successes, you see me on bad days, you see me on good days, I have a bit of rants. Um, you see Rosa. Um, I'm not just a cod fisherman, I don't just fish the Humber. I understand why there are people, there are videographers out there, there are YouTubers out there. They make a big song and dance about fishing on the Humber. Because your Humber videos, I'll be honest, your Humber videos, they're easy to record. I'm getting off on a rant again, aren't I? But they're easy to record. They're easy to edit because it's quite straightforward. It's comfy to fish here, and the videos themselves do well naturally. Um, I put one up, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So, yeah, looks like it. I'll show you. So, oh, um, so the last video I put out was was the cod hunt 2021, which was on Immingham Wall without any promotion, 1,120 views. Um, you know, that's that's brilliant, that is. That really is brilliant. And to say it's not been shared by anybody, nobody's helped me this time. Sometimes Shane and Levo, they share my videos. I do the same for them. Um, but I think they're too afraid because of one of their other friends to help me. But I don't know. I doubt that's the case. It's just what it feels. Um, oh, oh, oh. Right guys, I've just put the kettle on. For the first time in ages actually, I don't often put it on when I'm down here anymore, as I bring a flask. But that little sod, that little sod over there, parked her ass in the back of the car. Oh, yeah. That one, yeah. Drunk all my bloody tea. So, yeah, just while the kettle's boiling, I just, I just had a thought. Yeah, that's fine. It's something I've been toying with for a little while. And then a conversation Alf and I had when we were out at Easing to uh, Kilnsey perhaps made me think of it a little more. 
A lot of you have seen in my live streams me making baits and things like that and rigs. And I would be interested to know, not that I think my rigs are far and above better than anybody else's out there, um, but I know there's a lot of guys out there that, that fish that either can't tie their own rigs or just don't want to tie their own rigs, you know, each to their own. It's a fiddly, arduous process sometimes. But upon speaking to Alf, and he's been using one of my rigs for, for the, or some of my rigs for the last few, few, few trips out now. He has suggested that I perhaps think about making them to sell. Now, I do not have enough hours in the day to do them in any sort of number, in any sort of great number. But it is something I've thought of, and I have also thought of selling um, wraps, ready-made wraps, um, because that I'm getting down quite quickly to quite a fine art actually is, is making the wraps. And I have a vac packer and I have a freezer. Now I know that there's a lot of fishermen this time of year that come from inland that come past Scun Scunthorpe, which is where I am. that come, f come fishing on the, on, the, on the Humber. And it just... I just thought I'd put the feelers out there tonight as to what you guys think about perhaps me selling basic rigs. Um, I can currently tie quite comfortably using both Gemini or Trident Tackle, so the choice would be yours. Up and overs clip downs and pulley panels. Now, the rig price will differ depending on, on, on what, what they're made out of, but I use ASO for the main line, Amnesia for the, for the hook length, or ASO for the rig body, Amnesia for the hook length. I use Cox and Roll or Sakuma hooks, depending on what I can get hold of. And then either Gemini or Trident Tackle for the terminal tackle. Uh, I don't use crimps, I use uh, power gum for any stop knots on things like um, clip downs. But I just thought perhaps maybe selling some rigs, having now had them tested and having me having used them since I started, I've always tied my own rigs. Um, to sell them. So let me know if perhaps you would be interested in, in buying rigs from me. I need to find out really what other people sell them for and things like that. But I would be interested to know if it would be something you'd be interested in buying. Um, sort of one man and his rod rigs. Um, because if it is something that enough people are interested in, I will have a look at talking to a supplier about um, getting terminal tackle in bulk. Um, but yeah, it was just a thought. Right, my kettle's come up to boil, so I'm going to go make a brew. But yeah, terminal tackle and maybe, I wouldn't be able to post the wraps because I'm not getting into the logistics of trying to send things frozen and buying freezer packs and blah blah blah. Um, but I would certainly be happy um, especially if I could get a dedicated little freezer to make wraps to sell. Um, but yes, I can hear my kettle whistling. I'll pop you back on time. It was just a thought, just a thought, but do come let me know whether you'd be in, whether it's something you're interested in. Right, I'll see you in a bit.
tell you something, guys. I'm getting close to resort into a hey coddy coddy dance in a minute. Hey coddy coddy. <laughs> Are you going to do a hey coddy coddy dance for me, Rosa? <laughs> You're not on camera, stood back there. Stood here, you'd be on camera, or stood there, you'd be on camera, but back there, you're not on camera. The camera can't see you there. So if you don't want to be on camera, you can do your coddy coddy dance there. Okay. You do the hey coddy coddy dance. Or here coddy coddy dance, not hey coddy coddy. Here coddy 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 coddy. Yeah, we're 20 minutes away from the top of the tide, which is actually normally when this mark quietens down anyway so it's time you know at the top of the tide it's time to have a little bit of a chill out rethink your game for for the ebb um get up you moron um and regroup if you've had a few issues in the start Now's your time to regroup and, uh, and rethink what, what, what it is you're going to do for the second half. It's a game of two halves down here, not wall. And you get half time for about 30 minutes at high water. Not to say there isn't still fish out there at high water, there is. But you tend to find at high water, it just, well, at slack water, it dies off. Because your scent trail isn't going anywhere. So I think after high water, I'm going to put the Akios on a two-up clip down with some smaller hooks on, just to try and prevent the blank, really. And I'll just keep that a little bit closer in. And um, I'll keep the other one as it is, with a bit of distance and a slightly larger bait, and larger hooks. Uh, although I could put, I might put that on a, on a smaller pulley panel, a smaller hooked pulley panel. I've got some. Uh, one O's with size one chinoos, which is currently what I've got on the Akios. So I might change it over to one of those. To the three gentlemen I was just been speaking to, who have just arrived at the wall, if you see this video, tight lines, best of luck. I hope you get on somewhere. Because uh, it is, it's not chocker down here tonight, but it is busy. So I'm, I'm hopeful either Thursday or Friday. I know I said at the top of the video that I was thinking about going down the other end and fishing the ebb down there. But I think with having Rosa with me, I think that may, might be a little bit too late uh, by that time. But I'd say, I'll try and get out Thursday or Friday. Uh, Friday being Christmas Eve, so we don't know. That's a bit sketchy, really. And then we get some big tides in January. Some big tides in January. And that's when I want to be down here or at uh, East Hol Hol Holmpton or Holton or what? Just over other side at Dock. I might try that for the big tides in the, in the new year. And it's slightly closer to home for me. It's 10 minutes closer to home. I can be there in 15, 20 minutes. And it, generally speaking, it appears to be a quieter mark. Um, not as publicised, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll let certain anglers have the wall and, uh, like me, keep blanking on it. Um, although, to be fair, I've only blanked since I've started chasing the cod. Um, you know, f a month ago, I was nailing 20, 20 plus whiting down the other end. Um, but since I've started coming up here on the deeper waters, hunting the cod, I started blanking. Uh, Kilty was all right, and those whiting, my God, some of the, the last, the second two that I pulled out, they were a fair size. They were all right whiting, they were. And I, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit gutted I didn't keep them. Um, yeah, I am a little disappointed in myself that I didn't keep them because... We did, the missus especially, really enjoyed the fish cakes. So, if I'd have kept them, I could have had my Christmas Eve fish supper, couldn't I? 
still could have my Christmas Eve fish supper, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't know if I, said, if I recorded this at Kilnsey. I meant to, and I'm not sure if I did, and I'm not sure if it'll make the final edit. Um, but just going back to talking about these tip lights, these Mark IV tip lights, um, it wasn't asked, but I'm going to mention it. They do come in other colours. Um, red, green, blue, white. Uh, Okay. You need to try a different technique then, don't you? But I use blue ones because they show up better for you guys. I mean, the red ones show up okay on camera, but I've, and the white ones, I don't really like. They're, they're a bit too harsh on the eyes. Um, I like the green ones, but the green ones don't show up too well on camera. So I get the blue ones for you guys. I'd love um, if anybody's sort of thinking about making them, or if anybody does make them, I'd love them with a black light LED in, because that that would increase your rod. You know, on these rods, both these rods have glow in the dark uh, tip sections, and if you put a black light in there. You know, black light LED. You're going to illuminate your. Uh, I think someone might be having a sniff on the on the uh, on the pen rod. Um, Which one? The one closest. Um, it just keeps moving, just ever so slightly. Could just be um, tide noise, but it just keeps moving ever so slightly. Oh crap! Getting close to the water. That's as close as it'll get now. Yep. We're at, we're, at, we're, at, we're at nearly high tide now, so. Come and let me tie a tide. I thought we could tie that, my tide out, but I can how close the waves are getting in. But yeah, that's as high as. See, this is what I was saying. We could have we could have fished here. We'd have been perfectly fine. And it's not, it's not slippy at all there, but we made his bed, so we'll lay in it. Um, it does mean we're going to have a shorter session because I'm not going over there. After, but I'm not chasing the tide out. Um, if I was on my own, yeah, I probably may, I probably would. But um, I'm not on my own, and I'm not leaving her up here unsupervised. Come away from the wall while you're prattling about with axe. If you drop that over the wall, it's gone. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So yeah, I mean. Early doors, well, early doors, we had a bit of activity going on, didn't we? And then we've gone quiet. But say this mark always does, in my experience and in what I'm told as well. It's, it's primarily a mark that you fish on the ebb. I've just realised there's a pizza place that delivers down here. We could have a pizza. <laughs> I'll message Terry and see if I can find out which one it is. Right, let's send the big mama jamma. Yes, yeah, this one. Oh, the crab's falling out of it. It's all right, still a bit of crab in it and it's a squid, squid bait at the end of the day and it's cod like squid baits. Let me bait a needle and just poke some holes in it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, poke a few holes in it. Nope, not now. It's gone past now, that's where the waves have gone big. Right, back out again, sit you back on time lapse. Nothing really to uh, chat about, I'll see you in a bit. Well guys and gals, I hate to be pessimistic, but it ain't looking good, is it? It ain't looking good. Rods have been completely silent since maybe half an hour up to high water. Um, I'm not giving up. By no means am I giving up. But it is time to change the baits again. We'll do, the, uh, we'll do this one first because the other one I don't have a spare rig for, so... Hoi. But we're now on the turn of the tide, and I know you hear me say it every time, but the tide does absolutely zoom out here, so... <clears throat> once it's unsafe, or once it would be too cruel to the fish, to be able to either A, return it, or B, bring it in in the first place, um, I will stop fishing. Huh, where's the bait? Oh, no, it's there. Thought that one had been stripped. I thought, oh God, don't tell me crabs are here, but it's not. It's not, it's all still there. Not even a snifter on that. To be honest, I'm probably changing it a smidge too early, but never hurts to have fresh scent in the water. You on there. Grab you. So I've got a whole squid hood here with a little bit of crab cart left inside it. A lot of it fell out when I was putting it on the rig but it'll be fine um, there's still a bit of squid a bit of crab in it and the squid itself so yeah, that's all good I'll resend you Oh, that didn't sound like it went right far. We'll recast that. Oh no, we'll leave it. Oh, the line's gone tight quick and it took a fair bit, so we'll leave it. It must have just been coincidence. There must have been a gulp at my feet. Just as 
I thought we led it the water. This one actually, I don't know why I'm yanking on this. It's not got an anchors on it, has it? It's not got anchor wires. It's only a smooth, smooth lead. Still not heavy. Can't feel anything on it, so. Let's have a look. Nope. No, it's all quiet. It's all very quiet at the moment. Too quiet, yes indeed, too quiet. So it would be nice in, in the, when you're in this sort of situation, guys. It would be nice to be able to, uh, to change to a different bait, but unfortunately today that is a luxury I do not have. I'd have thought this would have brought a flatty in, but I have to get some scissors. Can't get that bait off. But alas, no flatty. Not, no. E not even a flatty. Nonya. You're getting cold now. Stay. I think, to be honest, I brought this in too early. The, even the cart's still sticky. See this bottom bit actually is pretty mangled. I was at B and Q today. I could have got the bits and pieces to make myself a, a wall shelf, couldn't I? Uh, no, not you. Not you. Let's have a look. There we go. There's a couple of little sloppy ones. This crab cart's bloody really sticky. I've never, well, I say I've never used it. I have used it in passing before today, but I've not, not with any, well, not with any success. Oh, well, no, say, say not without any success. I forget, I was using it at Kilnsey and I got three decent whiting on it. There was a discussion I saw recently on Facebook about whether or not fishermen actually class whiting as a fish, as a catch. You know, when you catch a whiting, does it count? Should it count towards your tally? Yes, of course it should. The only thing that doesn't count towards your tally, really, are crab and crustacean, in my opinion. But certainly if you're using these crab wings, you need to make sure you've got a towel. Sticky, sticky stuff. You end up with crab guts all over you, your reel and your, your rod, and it's just messy. But apparently it's what the cod want. I'm not seeing any proof of that yet. I'm just having to make the rods work a little bit harder on the casts. Just to get them out there a little bit. But even that smooth lead is holding bottom just fine. So I might switch. No, we're not ordering pizza. 
I've already told you this. Give up sucking on your coat. Um, yeah, not ordering pizza because too expensive. Wanted twenty pound for two little burgers, and they could only take cash, and I've not got twenty pound in cash on me. Yeah, I just tried ordering from that Fabio's that, 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 that will deliver to the wall. The poor lad that, that, that answered the phone they had no idea what I was talking about. And then for a cheeseburger and Hawaiian burger, I wanted 20 quid. It's like, uh, yeah, I'll pass, thanks. Oh, for ten for ten pounds for a bloody burger. Wants to be a bloody good burger and you ain't gonna get that from a pizza place in back end of beyond, are you? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would have been the nicest burger I've ever had. But I don't see it personally. But I think it's a, it's a great idea if you're a takeaway owner. I mean, hell, even if you had a burger van, if you sat twiddling your thumbs on a Friday, Saturday night, or before you head into town on a Friday, Saturday night as a burger van owner, look, take a glimpse at the tide times. And if you can get onto the wall, if you can get down here before you want to be at your peg in the town centre, and if the tides are there at the right time, tell you what, I'd be down here. I'd be down here feeding the fishermen because they'll spend the brass, they've got it in the pockets. Anyway, got sidetracked there guys, sorry. Went off on a bit of a rant, recast, rebate, all that kind of good stuff. Ah, fingers crossed for me, eh? Fingers crossed. Hopefully we'll get, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll weasel something out. But uh, I'm going to have a, a, a coffee and a sit down and I'm going to have a look at the catch reports on, uh, on Facebook. See if there is any. Um. And see if there's, see if anybody else on the wall has had any luck um, to this point. Going to uh, we've got an, about another hour, depending on how quickly the tide goes out. Yeah, it depends entirely on how quickly the tide goes out. Can't really get a read on it in a moment because three uh, construction barges going to the offshore wind farm have just gone past. So the uh, at the moment, we've got Wave Central. So at the moment, it's just sort of surged the tide a little bit. So we'll find out when it calms back down. You can see how much of an effect. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You see the, uh, the 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 scratching rig. How much of an effect the tides having the boats have had on the water. Unless that's a fish. I don't think it is though. Um, I don't think it is, it's too, too gradual in it, it's, uh, it's not a hard tug. But, from the baits I've got, we've only got one, 
we've only really got two more casts without me having to make up some more baits. So we'll let that soak for a little bit longer. Although I suppose I have only just sent it. We'll let that soak for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll resend it. And then once we're out of bait, off we trot. I suppose. Can't fish if you've no bait. Well, you can fish if you've no bait, but you won't catch any fish. No, I don't think so. Leave it a bit longer. I'll have a brew. Pop you back on time lapse. You're probably getting bored of them now. I think. I think what I'll do is I'll give you a break from the time lapse. I'll turn you off for a little bit. You know what? No, I'm going to record the time lapse and then I may or may not put it in because at least I've got it. Rosa, you're shining your camera straight at me and the camera. Bless her. Right. Right, yeah, I'll uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Gentlemen, we are very much. Oh, we are very much in last cast territory now. But just as I switched the camera, I don't know if you saw it, the rod closest to you had a bit of a rattle. We'll let it rattle a little bit longer. Just been speaking to Matt, who you might... Did you see him in that video? I think you did. There we go, there it goes again, another little rattle. Um, I'm not going to be too eager, I'm going to let it develop. Um, just been speaking to Matt, speaking of letting it develop. 
uh, and he says is his preferred technique. And I know it's it's a matter of um, opinion of I don't know the right word really. The you know it's 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 each to their own I suppose. But he says his preferred method is to let it knock three times before he'll reel it in. Um, now I would say the two knocks you've just that we've just seen, because this is quite a fine tip, weren't firm knocks. But we are firmly in last cast territory now. Um, and this rod is going to be the first rod to come down. I've got one more cast on the on the distance rod, uh, rigged up, ready to go. That's the last bait that I have made up. I've just cleaned out all my tubs and, and things like that. Obviously not slung them over there. I've wazzed the, uh, the crab juices and put them back in my box, in my cool box. Actually, whilst I'm thinking about a cool box, I've had some inquiries over the time, over the years, over the year, of the year, yeah, over the year. I think it's almost a year to the day since my first video on the wall. Um, I've been asking about sort of options for bait carrying. Um, and I've seen a few anglers on the East Coast use one of these boxes, one of these Coleman, um, oh, I can't remember what they are. I'll, but I'll, I'll try and remember to put an Amazon link in the description below. Um, they're about, I think I paid £10 for this because it was on a flash sale. Um, I think they're, I think normally they're about £16. Definitely well worth it, one of these. It's, it could, because uh, the vinyl bags are great, the, the, the bags are great, but you can't wash them out like you can this. So this is, uh, I'll try and remember to put a link to this below. And if I can find the tip lights on Amazon, I'll try and remember to put a link to the tip lights as well. Um, but I don't know if you'll find them on Amazon, but I will try for you and I will put it in the description. Yes, it'll be an affiliate link because I am a member of the Amazon Affiliates program, but it won't cost you anything more and I will get a few pennies. Let's have a look at this because it's, if I leave it too much longer, I won't be able to bring it in if there is anything on it. No, no, there isn't. But it's been like this all night, up until high water, and then it died. Where you'd get the odd knock, but no takes. I, I'm guessing, from the other fishermen that have already left, that have already driven past, that nobody's had a particularly good night. Um, because normally, if they've had a good night, fishermen will stay and talk. Wow. All right. Both hooks stripped. So something definitely had a sniff, but didn't take a, didn't take the hook. Saves me having to clean down the rig, I suppose. Now the question is, do I resend this with the pulley on it? Or do I save the pulley and resend, resend that one with the pulley on it? Yeah, I'll stick to my plan, I'll pack down the Akios and uh, yeah, normally say, normally fish when people are fishing on the Humber, um, if they've had a good night, they're more than eager to tell you about it as they're driving past. Tonight, nobody's talking, nobody's talking at all. So, I think everybody's had a bit of a poor night. Although, the, I mean, the fishing reports coming out of the Humber so far this year are not great. Um, there's been a few decent sized cod come out, but not many. There was the match, the cod open, uh, a couple of nights ago, Saturday night, I think it was, Saturday evening. 39 fishermen, and whilst I think most of the majority of fishermen caught something, there was only 11 cod of size recorded.
and it's usually better than that. Are you going again? Yeah. Yeah. I think you possibly did. Um, so yeah, that's 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 not many. You know, for for the match, it's uh, it's not many at all. So, you know, um, but for those of you that do fish the Humber, it is my understanding, rightly or wrongly, that the other side of the Humber, so uh, the North Bank, is actually fishing better than the South Bank this year. Now, that leads me to believe that perhaps there's been a movement, you know, under the, under the water and the uh, that perhaps we are now on a shallower side on the south bank um, now don't get me wrong I'm obviously no fishing expert but if with the shallower water over this side I think does that not sort of depict fewer or smaller fish I assume so I don't know You'd have to, uh, yeah. dear me, you'd have to let me know in the comments. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, all right, Rosa, all right. Um, yeah, you'd have to let me know what, what, what you guys think on that, 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 uh, that point, because I don't know. But it would it would it would seem logical, wouldn't it? That if we've got a deeper, you know, the fisher the larger fish especially, you would think would be in the deeper tra channels, wouldn't they? But I don't know. But I shall give everything a wash. This could be. The last video until the new year. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, because I'll be honest, the discussion about going out on Christmas Eve didn't go down very well. And I don't know if I'll be able to get away early enough on Thursday to be able to get down here. We'll have to wait and see. And that's the fella that was in bay 19. I think that's everybody gone from down there now. Although, I mean, in all fairness, if I was down there, you could get another hour in. You could easily get another hour in. We can't here. We didn't have a choice. Um, you can't get another hour in here because the well, you could if you went over the wall and fished down there. But I'm not going to do that with you here. Oh. Did you just did you did you just catch the rod stand? No. There was a little bounce, a little shake, probably something sticking, nicking my bait again. Well, yeah, we won't leave it out there too long because I'll send another bait, but we'll give it a minute. See if it develops into anything. Don't know, once again, I'll have to check the footage, see if I'm imagining things. I probably am. But I'm going to take my time to pack down because it's still quite early and pack all my rods away properly because like I said when we left Kilnsey because we were in a rush to try and get to this side of the of the Humber because we were all you know let's go let's go let's go um, we uh, we just threw everything in the box threw us rods in us in us carry-alls and uh, packed up and tried to get over it as quick as we could and we, we just couldn't make it in time we just couldn't make it in time. And it was really annoying. Let's have a look at this. I don't think there's anything on it. I think something might have had a sniff, but... 
it certainly doesn't feel like there's anything on it. No, there's nothing on this. So I shall put a fresh bait on and, and resend it for the last cast of the night. Oops. But it's always a good night when you don't lose any gear. What has gone on here? Yeah. That's free, that's free. It's all free. Uh, not too much weed. Like I say, we had a, a bit of a nightmare with weed at Kelsey. Not sure if it'll show up on the camera, but it was, uh, it was a nightmare, to say the least. Oh yeah, that's been attacked. Yeah. That's really been attacked. No, there's not blood on it. But it's, uh, yeah, someone's had a good go at a good go at that. Yeah, last bait now. We've got no choice. It's the last bait. I said to myself before we came, I was only bringing a certain amount of bait. And I said we'd fish until we ran out. And that's exactly what we've done. And still no fish, yeah. Bit of a bummer, but you know what? It's called fishing, it's not called catching. If it were easy, everybody would do it. Well, I, don't, I suppose it's not difficult, but it's... Uh, you know, if it was if it was uh, if it was guaranteed fish every time, I think you'd have a lot more fishermen, wouldn't you? What bag? What red and grey bag? I don't own a red and grey bag. What red? I don't own a red and grey bag. No, that's what this rod, uh, that holds me rods. Oh, and then the reason I've been off work recently because I've had a, an IBS and Crohn's flare up, it's just bloody started again. I think, it still feels like the summer trapped. last cast I can only leave it in the water about 10 minutes it is still trapped that's why there we go um, I can only leave it in about in, in for about 10 minutes because like I say any longer than that and I wouldn't be able to retrieve it you know well beside there's a fish on it you know <laughs> I, don't, I don't seem to be getting that lucky the last few visits let's come your side because there's a bit more water Absolute last cast. Sorry, shining torch in your eyes. Um, I'm pretty much packed down. Yeah, we'll tidy up the car while this rod's out. Five, ten minutes. Then we'll be going home. So, <laughs> I'm going to assume nothing's going to happen. <laughs> if it does, there'll be a, a big celebration right here. Nope. But if it doesn't, don't remember, don't, don't remember, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, it'd make me Christmas if we had a, a, a nice little surge as we run into Christmas and the new year. Was I imagining things then? I think I was, I'm not that lucky. Um, 
it will make my Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, I hope you stay safe. I hope you have a nice Christmas. If I'm not out again and if I don't publish another video before the new year, have a happy new year and still, as I've said, stay safe. If you're out fishing, there's some larger tides this weekend. I think today's quite one of the bigger ones. Um, stay safe, tight lines. Uh, no fishing is worth putting yourself at risk for. So until next time, I'll see you later.